Good morning, everyone. My name is Sarah, and I'm an education assistant at John Muir. Um, I'm going to be doing an example of nature journaling for you all today, since I miss being at Lithia so much. So I wanted to take this video and remind you of a good uh, example of a nature journal. So remember at Lithia, we would go and sit in our sit spots usually, and <clears throat> we would take time to observe something really close around us, like a flower or a bug or a rock. So while you're doing your nature journaling, it's important to remember to take a few moments to yourself to have some quiet time and observe something that's around you. So I took the time to observe something in my backyard. So first for your nature journals, you're gonna do the date. And for me, the date is April 12th, 2020. Now your date might be a little different because I'm doing this on a Sunday. And then you're gonna write the time. And for me, the time was, is 10, 15 a.m. And your time might also be a little different depending on when you are doing your nature journal. The location, so that's like where you're doing your nature journaling, I put my backyard because that's where I chose to do my sit spot and observe some of the stuff that's in my backyard. And then for the temperature, that's like how hot or cold it is. You're, for me, it's 50 degrees outside, so it's kind of a cold morning, but the sun makes it feel really nice. Then you're going to write the weather. Oops, my weather got a little scrubbed out there. But for me, the weather is sunny and cloudy and a little windy. You can feel the nice cool breeze on you. And so as I am writing my nature journal, I'm taking a few moments to sit back, observe, have some quiet time. And during my nature journaling sit spot in my backyard, I noticed a few things. So I'm going to share with you what I wrote down in my nature journal. And granted, you guys will be observing maybe same the same things or something different. But this is just an example for what you guys can write about, what you should be thinking about when you're doing your sit spot. So I'm going to read it to you and hopefully it sounds good. This says, I saw a red tulip. And the red tulip that I was looking at is right over here. There we go. Right. Oops, right there. You can kind of see it. And so I wrote a little bit about that red tulip. And the tulip is just the kind of flower it was. I wrote, it was blowing in the wind. And then I used, so that was my sense of sight. I was looking at the red tulip. And then I was listening for other sounds. So I wrote, I can hear birds chirping. And then I said... I was able to see one of the birds, so I wrote, one of the birds was called a robin. It is gray with an orange chest and a yellow beak. There we go. And so those are just some suggestions that you can write about using your senses for your nature journal. You can write sense of smell, sight, hearing, touching, I don't know if I would do the tasting one because you don't really want to lick anything out here, but those are just some good suggestions. Like you could touch a, a mossy rock and say that the moss was so soft. You could look at the grass and say how it has water droplets on it because it's so early in the morning. Um, you could look at maybe you see a squirrel in your backyard or a bird like I saw, something like that. So I hope you all are doing well. I miss you all so much in our Lithia Fridays. And I hope to be doing more videos similar to this one. So I hope you enjoyed watching and see you soon.